hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and it's been a while since i posted just been very busy um as you can see our cockatiels have grown um and they're going into their third week right now as you can see um this one was the first one obviously um the one with the black head he was the first one and then we have the other one as well which is this one here and he's the albino one and then we have this one here this one is the last one so guys let's start preparing the food because i did say to you and i and i was explaining to you before how to prepare the food for them so what i'm going to do is I've, I've got the nice container here for them and i'm going to use uh, the scoop which is a 5 ml remember i explained to you this 5 ml scoop i bought it from amazon so no promotion or anything like that just i'm giving this um, demonstration and we're exactly if you want to buy you can buy it from there it's nice anyway and you can um, keep them clean as well very fast so i use a 5 ml and another 2.5 um yeah two point yeah 2.5 yes and then i'm gonna uh, it's gonna go into here and then what i'm gonna do is as you can see i have a and as you can see look at that look at that so um this is also this is 30 ml okay I will let you know exactly the measurements. I'm going to take a 30 ml and I'm going to pour it into uh, the food. So a complete 30 ml will go into the food. You lose your spoon, obviously. I'm going to stir that up and make it into a little bit of a paste. Okay, and now because they are uh, about, about three weeks, you know, over going over that um, two and a half, to th going into that three weeks there, the food needs to be a little bit thick, okay, guys? Not very thin. So, so as you can see, this is the consistency of the food that you need for them making sure that there's no lumps or anything there so i'm just uh stirring it so that i can get all that lumps out from there okay guys making sure that the food also is a nice temperature as well for the babies we're not going to sit and give them cold food or food that is not um please don't boil the water guys don't don't ever boil the water because this is dangerous for the the cockatiels okay never boil um the food the water for the food because um i think i've had that experience before as well it's not good don't boil it okay i'm going to try and get this into a syringe now which i have my syringe right here let me just stand up guys i'll take that food and put one side okay as you can see it's not full okay but what i'm going to do i will i will take more from here okay so when i do i'm going to keep it in a glass of uh, hot water as well because when you keep it in a glass of hot water it, it keeps that temperature for the the cockatiels guys look at this one look at this one you can't get up hmm? okay guys so um let's start off with this one so this is the bigger one I'm gonna start off with him. Sorry, go. I'm gonna start off with him. I'm gonna hold him in my hand just so that I can show the viewers as well. Okay, so that's him eating. And as you can see, the food is going down into his crop. You can see the food going into his crop here. Why is it? Okay, guys. So, get more food there. So usually with them, I give them a bit of a break. I'll feed them a little bit, but um, this one he's eating well now. You know he doesn't uh, he doesn't stop in between or anything like that. But I stop myself from feeding him because if I do, you know, obviously give him a lot of food at one stage, he could choke, um, and this is very bad for them. As you can see, guys, see his crop is nice. I'm gonna give him more. Don't worry, guys. So we're just gonna go on to the next one here. Okay guys, and I'm gonna clean his mouth up and leave him for a while and then go over to this one here. So remember every time I'm feeding them I'm dipping it into the hot water. <coughs> not it's not very hot guys, but hot water because so that you can keep the food um, warm as well, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh sorry. Okay. 
So I'm just going to uh, continue feeding this. So let's see him. Okay. And this is now the albino one, guys. What I've noticed is that he's got red eyes, you know. Um, I didn't really much notice it, but when he started to show, open his eye color, I started to realize that he's an albino. So... So guys, um, when it comes to the air uh, in the crop, as you can see, this one, I remember when I explained in my first video, um, this one especially, um, he was taking a lot of air in his crop. He was taking a lot of air in his crop, and now he's not doing that so much, which is a good thing. He's kind of growing out of it. <coughs> but that's a very bad thing, you know, for them to be taking air into their crop. So... I'll just show you a very small technique and if you want to remove it and what you need to do. So like once the food is completely down from his um, neck, as you can see, it's here. And if there's a little bit of air, what you're going to do, you're going to take your thumb, you're going to hold them in place and you're going to massage, slowly massage it up. And as you're doing this, the air will eventually escape um, from his mouth because he's, he has his mouth open so it could come out from his mouth. Okay, guys. So don't take stress about that. You will know how to do it eventually when you have them. Okay, guys. So let's go back now in for second round. There we go. So I've also learned something as well that before I was making a lot of food, you know. Because it's been a long time also since I've uh, started to feed them again. Um, and then uh, obviously I was kind of wasting uh, the food uh, for some time. But then now I'm starting to realize... Um, the full one of this 10 uh, um, ml is enough for them the syringe is enough for the three birds that I have at the moment so um, as they're growing as you know they are over uh, two weeks now going into three weeks now so this one syringe is enough for these three here okay guys let's put that back in the water and let's clean his mouth see this one I didn't feed as much but now I'm gonna feed him okay guys because this is the one I've explained that he holds the uh, A in his crop, which is very bad, you know. Like I said, okay, now, as you can see. So I will give him a little break, not um, a very long break, because then he will start taking in A. Um, mm. So when you see, guys, that he has this bit of A inside there, Okay, sorry, there we go. So you can see, see? So I'll wait because the food is still going down, right? See, as you can see, this is the air and it's leaving. There we go. Okay, can you see that, guys? There's a very small one here, so it's okay, this one here, you know? You just keep massaging it guys and it's gonna um, obviously come out through his mouth so you don't have to stress about that but never ever put them back in the, the cage when they have this um, you know air filled uh, in their crop okay guys so let's see let's get mm -hmm. they got nice crops here mm -hmm. let's go so this is the big one now As you can see, so now I'm going to leave him. I'm not going to feed him anymore. This is enough for him. Let me just pick him up and show him to you. This is enough for him. <clears throat> we don't want to overfill his crop, guys. This is perfect for him. We don't want to overdo it, you know, because sometimes what happens is the food doesn't digest, you know. A lot of food doesn't digest in the crop. So, so now he's fine. Okay, guys, as you can see, he's nice and big as well. He's growing nicely. Okay. This is the albino one. So as you can see, if you can see in the camera, guys, can you see that? His eyes are is red. You know, they are red. And uh, what I've noticed is that he looks like he's going to be a bit of a yellow. But when I look closer to his feathers on his wing, it's white. So I have a feeling it's going to be a mixed... Um, Rare, yeah. yeah, so the, the albino ones, they are very rare, obviously, you know, and especially if you're going to breed them yourself, they are very rare. And usually what happens is even if you have an albino too, you won't get it uh, exact. You prob they probably <coughs> go after the father who's not an albino, you know. But anyway, guys, like I said, this is our lucky one as well. So this is the other one. <coughs> and usually what I call him is Lazy Larry because he lays on his back all the time, guys. Um, so what I've done is uh, I, I was putting him in, in the incubator and I've noticed that he was sleeping on his back a lot. 
so as you can see he was sleeping on his back a lot so what i did was i tried to um i improvised i made a smaller uh, container for him and i put him in there so now i'm noticing that he's sitting on his feet and he's um you know obviously sleeping not laying on his back and sleeping mm. okay guys now i'm going to show you what type of food i feed them so that you, um listen is no promotion nothing paid i'm not being paid for obviously advertising this uh, product but it's something i would recommend to people if they if you are a, a breeder and you want to use and please go for nutri bird it is very good like i'm using for my birds for past seven almost eight years now and i they love it because it has all the nutrition in it and minerals as well for the birds like obviously the those things that they get from their parents uh so that's the best you can do uh for them guys okay so as you know as you see i fed them now and i will definitely see you obviously you know um in the next video or when, um when i make my next clip uh with them guys but anyways we're gonna say bye to them Okay, until the next feeding time, guys.